I know we told you to stand by on our YouTube channel to find out when Knobster was available, and I'm happy to tell you now that you can own a Knobster. I'm going to explain in this video how you can build a Knobster to use with Air Manager. If you've never heard of Knobster, it's a multifunction knob that can be used with panels from Air Manager that allows you to make inputs without mouse or keyboard to make dials and push buttons associated with those dials do inputs into the simulator. And it makes simming quite realistic. I'm not gonna go into all the details here again, but I have two videos posted previously about uh, the Knobster, and uh, I will put those in the uh, comments below so that you can refer to those if you're not familiar. What I'd like to focus on today is explaining how you can build a Knobster to use with your uh, Air Manager installation. A couple quick things about uh, Knobster before we get started. First of all, Knobster requires Air Manager to operate. Its built-in functions are included in Air Manager 3.4 and later. Second, Knobster does not work well with ArdSim or SimVim. While it can duplicate most of the functions of those programs, it will not operate simultaneously. So Air Manager and Knobster can offer a pretty compelling cockpit experience for a very limited cost. Now let's look at how to build one. First, there's the deluxe kit. This is what you've seen in the video with this small compact shape, easy to build because it is a modular design with no wiring, uh, snaps together, and uses a very high quality Elma dual encoder with push button. This is the encoder that's used in the original Garmin 530. So it's aircraft grade, and with only a single encoder for your whole cockpit, uh, it's going to get a lot of wear and tear. A second option is the bare bones kit. This is basically just the quality Elma encoder and a printed circuit board for connecting headers. And then it's up to you to wire up the unit and create your own enclosure. Finally, we have what we call the roll your own option, which is just open source information that allows you to create a Knobster that's fully functional, but based on uh, your own sourcing for parts and uh, enclosure and mounting scheme. The Deluxe Kit provides you everything you need to build the, the Deluxe Knobster except for two things, the Arduino unit itself, the Nano, and the plastic printed case. We suggest you get a Nano with pins already installed and building is simple. Install the header pins and solder those in place, the female socket head, header pins. Then uh, install the encoder into the unit, being careful to align the pins as they're uh, shown on the encoder. You can put it in backwards. Once it's installed, solder that in place. And when you're done, you're ready to put the unit together. It's just a simple matter of uh, taking the encoder, aligning it with the correct pins, and just pushing the pins into the socket. And this is the guts of the uh, Knobster here, ready to go and ready to be installed in the case. The beauty of the modular design is if uh, part of the unit would be damaged or become inoperative, you can place it back together. Then you just slide it into the plastic case, secure it with a nut, install the knobs. They have collets so they uh, are very securely secured onto the shafts, unlike some of the less expensive uh, units that have force, uh, just friction connections. And once it's secured, it's just a matter of uh, mounting it as you would like, attaching the cable, following the directions to set up the unit with Air Manager. The result is a nice looking, rugged, flexible unit that can be used to control all the dials on your panels in using Air Manager. The bare bones unit provides all the electrical parts required to 
set up a fully functional Knobster, albeit not quite as elegant, it is functionally the same as the deluxe unit. Building requires installing the encoder into the encoder board provided and then installing header pins to allow wires to be connected to the Nano to provide electrical connection. Then it's just a matter of connecting jumper wires between the encoder pins and the pins on the Nano to assure the proper electrical connections. Devising an enclosure and mounting scheme is left up to the builder. The so-called roll your own option consists of directions for an open source build using your own materials and ingenuity. It provides you information needed to connect a nano and a dual push button encoder to create a fully functional knobster. And we provide uh, information about sourcing of a dual push button encoder and directions on the hookup. You provide the case and mounting scheme. Similar to the bare bones kit, but this allows you to use an encoder that's less expensive if you're working on a budget, because we want everyone to have access to what we think is a game changer for home simulation. Once again, it's just a matter of installing header pins and an encoder by soldering it into a printed circuit board, which is provided by PropWash Sim if you buy the unit there. And once that's installed, just making the connections, as you see here, to connect the Arduino Nano to the encoder board. Once you're done, you have a fully functional Knobster. You provide your own case and mounting method, and we're anxious to see what kind of ideas that users will come up to share among the Knobster community. Air Manager offers hundreds of community instruments and panels and pay panels that you can use that are fully functional with Knobster just as they currently exist without any modification. When you couple that with Air Manager's ability to run Arduino and Raspberry Pi devices and also to run on Android and iPad tablets, it makes Air Manager a great cockpit building solution. To find out more about Knobster, please visit the website www.thenobster.com. The website contains detailed building instructions and sourcing and pricing information on all the kits and parts for open source building. Help us exterminate mice from the cockpit and maximize your simming experience using Knobster.